Yo, yo, konnichiwa, minasan, and World 7 here coming at you from Richie Rich Labs. Today, I'm testing a kind of a surprise gem. I really like this game. It's a multiplayer dodgeball. So if you ever looked back at those days with fear or nostalgia, then definitely this game is going to tickle your pickle in the right ways. Anyway, let's take a look at this on the Xbox Series X, Series S, the Xbox One X, and the Xbox One S. And let me tell you, it's performing good on all consoles pretty much except one of them. So without further ado, let's talk about Knockout City from EA. Alrighty, so Xbox Series X on the left and Xbox Series S on the right, both only one game mode as to uh, graphics. There's no, you know, tweaking or messing around with high performance, high quality. It's just vanilla, uh, one mode, and it's targeting 60 FPS. And according to the website on EA themselves, they have a posting where they say that the game runs at 4K 60 on the Series X and 1080p 60 on the Xbox Series S. Uh, in my findings, it seems pretty true. It definitely looks uh, quite sharp and nice on the Xbox Series X. Uh, I would assume it is not dynamic resolution uh, because they actually just said uh, a specific number, but maybe it gets updated and whatnot because as you, you will see later in the video, I will show you the Xbox One X and the Xbox One S. And the Xbox One X tends to suffer from FPS drops more often than the others, but there's a catch. And this is something I have no control over. Whenever there is on the edge, as you can see, that little red thing that's popping on the edge of the screen, that is uh, the game letting you know you're getting targeted. Uh, and so when that happens, looks like my software is bugging. As you can see right now, the Xbox Series X, if you reverse the video just 10 seconds, you will see that it dropped to like low 50s, high 40s. That without the red border, that's an actual drop. So that's happening normally. When you see a red line and there's some drops, it sometimes is a drop, but sometimes it isn't uh, because of just how my software ca calculates the frames. And so that throws it off whack. You know, it's a little weird for it and it's not used to it. It, it gives it anxiety, okay? So anyway, uh, that's just the caveat, caveat here. But so far, I think the performance is pretty stable competitively. If you have VRR or AMD FreeSync, you're going to be dandy. You're pretty much not gonna notice any of these uh, issues at all. I personally did feel him a little bit without V-Sync and VRR uh, on my TV, uh, especially whenever it would drop below the 50 FPS mark. But once I have a VRR session, it went away. Now the Xbox One X and the Xbox One S. As you can see, both the old gen and the new gen consoles are targeting 60 FPS and they stick to it pretty often. Honestly, playing, uh, I would say the Xbox One S is the one that I'm without VRR or FreeSync, I noticed the most trouble. Um, but yeah, definitely it's still playable. Um, I would argue that competitively it is the one that suffers the most if you're into that. But anyway, 1440p, 60 FPS on the Xbox One X, and then 1080p, which honestly I don't think it's 1080p because hear me out, might be just um, the anti aliasing, could be texture quality. But the Xbox Series S is supposed to be, look at that, I got an achievement, let's go. Uh, the Xbox Series S is supposed to be 1080p just as the Xbox One S, but it looks considerably sharper. So definitely if they both are aiming the same resolution, one has a lot more anti-aliasing and other stuff, you know, trickery under the hood. Or it could just be that the post is not correct and they're just aiming for 900p on the Xbox One S. But anyway, besides the point, it still looks sharp enough on the Xbox One S. You're not going to have a Scarlet Nexus kind of situation where the resolution is drastically lower and it makes the game feel like a whole different game almost. But but anyway, I'm in World 7 for Richie Rich Labs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to support the channel's growth with a like and a sub and hitting the bell so you get notified whenever I release these kinds of videos. I'm going to try to release them every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you have a special title you want me to test that's not popular because lots of people like to cover the popular games and I just like to cover gaming in general, whatever catches my attention. Anyway, or yours. Till next time, peace out.